When I was a kid, something bad was happening to me. And I went to church every day, and I prayed. Oh, I prayed for it to stop. It's her choice. No, it isn't. It isn't her choice. He still isn't mine. too much of 13-year-old boys. We had been drinking. We decided to go to my room. How am I? It'll be our little secret, okay? You tried to rape me. You're a less than zero monster. At least I'm not a desperate tart from a truck stop town, hon. Let's not distort reality to cover your morning after shame. I thought maybe I could forget about what had happened. God, I should have told somebody about you when I was a kid, when you were helping me. You know what you did to me. I know what you did to me. So I'm not gonna lie about it. I just, I remember thinking that I just needed to close my eyes for a few minutes. And he walked out of the room, and then I remember waking up to you pulling off my underwear. And then they dropped me on the floor and left me there in the toilet water and my own blood. And that was that. That was the worst of it, but But it feels like I've been hurting, like cut and bleeding every day since I was 12. I feel rejected just alone, but rejected. Like I am nothing, and no one. No, it was not consensual. No, he raped me. I may not remember all of the details, but I will never forget the sheer terror of feeling your weight on top of me, of not being able to breathe. glad I waited for him and then he pulled off my jeans and then my underwear at that moment we were left alone and he picked me up he just picked me up and carried me behind the fence and he lay down on top of me and started to take my pants off I fought and I fought but he was 18 and I was 12 look at you you'd probably be dead by now yeah, well, it wasn't for free, was it? I pulled you out of the gutter. I pulled myself out of the gutter, all the way to the FBI. I did that! You saying I had nothing to do with making you who you are? No, Carl. Actually, I'm saying you have everything to do with making me who I am. Because of you, I'm somebody who gets to spend the rest of his life making sure guys like you go down. I, I don't know what to say. Yeah, clearly. But I don't need you to say anything. I just need you to know that you didn't break me. It's not your fault. Don't fuck with me. What you got inside of here, that's what's gonna get you off these streets. You never told? Not until right now. <laughs> it's not your fault. Don't fuck with me, all right? Don't fuck with me, Sean, not you. It's not your fault. 